Hello everyone, it's Freya here from Avon Wildlife Trust with another autumn video for you guys. Now in our last video we talked a lot about what happens to the leaves in the autumn as they change colour and fall down from the trees to the ground. But a lot of other things happen in the autumn as well. The weather changes, it starts to get cooler and wetter. And in the autumn, some animals who live here in the UK start to change their behaviour. Does anybody know what some mammals do over the autumn and winter months? That's right, some of them hibernate. Some animals like hedgehogs and dormice and lots of others will find somewhere or make somewhere that they can go and sleep over the winter so they can save all their energy up so that when the spring comes around and there's more food for them to eat they've got energy to come back out and start living their lives again. So today we're going to think a bit about hibernation and about the kind of den or home that an animal might make for itself to sleep in or hibernate in over the autumn and winter. And to help me do that today I've got my little leafy friend here. Now you might have made a little leaf friend if you picked up one of our kits and used the sticky eyes to make your leaf friend. So if you have one, bring it with you because I'm going to be helping my leaf friend to make a den today to have a go and see what it's like to make somewhere to sleep for the winter. The other thing we're gonna be doing today is using our special tiny treasure box which is also in our My Wild Child kits if you've got one. And me and my leaf friend are going to use this to find some tiny, tiny treasures to bring back to the little den that we're going to make. So you can also take with you, if you would like to, your owl eyes that you might have made if you watched one of our previous videos. So we're going to head off and have a go at building a little den. The first thing you need to do is to collect some den building materials to make your mini den. So you could go for a walk in the park or the woods near your house, or if you have a garden, you could have a look out there. We've collected some sticks and some big leaves and some bits of bark to make our den. Then you need to find somewhere to build your den. And we've chosen the bottom of this old apple tree because it looks a little bit like it's got a secret doorway in it already. So, me and my leaf friend have had a think about what it's like to hibernate and we've made our little den here. We used those sticks that we'd collected to make a frame on the base of this old apple tree and then we've covered it with grasses and leaves and more sticks and some of these dried seeds as well. At the front of our little den, we've got a beautiful woven ferny door here. Shall I open it and show you? And there is our little leaf friend inside, seeing what it might be like to hibernate over these cold months. Next, you need to take your tiny treasure box to find some tiny treasures to bring back to your den. So remember to use your owl eyes while you're hunting for tiny treasures. I found some little acorns and some of their little hats down here. So I'm going to pop a couple of them in my tiny treasure box. Remember, when you're finding your tiny treasures, to use your fairy fingers to make sure you only take a tiny bit of each treasure. You don't want to take too much. So would you like to see the tiny treasures that we collected for our little den? Let me show you. Inside our tiny treasure box, we have a soft, fluffy feather to make the den a nicer place to be. We've got a little piece of rosemary that smells very nice, so the den will smell nice. We found a little pebble that my leaf friend can use as a table. 
and a couple of these little acorn hats to use as cups to drink from. We've got a beautiful little leaf to decorate the den. Some moss which will make it soft and cosy. And a beautiful fuchsia flower which we thought would make a very nice lampshade. So I hope that you guys have fun. So I hope that you guys have fun when you go out to make your little den and when you collect your tiny treasures to take back to it. And think about all those animals who will be making their own dens to hibernate or sleep in over the winter months. And if you have a garden, you might like to leave an area wild for an animal like a hedgehog or a mouse to burrow down and make a nice soft nest or den to sleep in over the winter. Have fun and see you next time. <laughs>